Hey guys, and welcome back. Well, that hot um, uh, conversation at the water fountain. Uh, yes, a Chicago judge says Jesse Smollett's bond at $100,000 on Thursday and ordered him to surrender his passport. Now, after a Chicago Police Department press conference in which Eddie T. Johnson blasted the Empire Star, saying that Smullett's alleged staging of a hoax attack was a publicity stunt to promote his career. Mm. Now, the week-long investigation into the alleged hate crime attack, an alarming account that sizzled with a spectrum of hot-button issues ranging from race, sexuality, politics, to crime and celebrity, riveted and distressed a deeply already divided nation. Mm. Now, standing before the Cook County Circuit Court Judge, John Fitzgerald Like, Smullett appeared to remain steadfast and his refutation of the felony charges against him. Now, he has repeatedly insisted that the attack was real and that he was merely a victim, not a perpetrator. Now, if convicted of felony disorderly conduct for filing a false report, the actor faces up to three years in prison. Now, when first assistant state attorney Risa Lanier told Likes that the actor had picked up two brothers who authorities say carried out the stage attack on him at this at his direction and showed them the location of where he wanted to be attacked, Smullett shook his head in disagreement. Now, when Like told Smullett that the allegations, if true, are utterly outrageous. The actor nodded his head in agreement. Now, doing so again, when Light said the noose details would be the most uh, despicable part of the alleged scheme. Now, the judge also ordered pre-trial monitoring of the actor and ordered him to stay away from the two brothers. He allegedly conspired with to stage the hoax attack, according to police. Now, Smullett's next court appearance is scheduled for March 14th. Now, the tense courtroom appearance followed on the heels of a morning press conference at which a visibly angry Johnson uh, castigated the actor for betraying his race and his city with such insidious false claims. Now, Jesse Smullett took advantage of the pain and anger of racism to promote his career, a visibly angry Johnson said. I'm left hanging my head asking why? Why would anyone, especially an African-American man, use the symbolism of a noose to make false accusations? Now, how can an individual who's been embraced by the city of Chicago turn around and slap everyone in the face? in the city with these false claims. Now, Johnson charged that Smullett, an actor on the hit show Empire, has consistently denied any role in staging the alleged attack, orchestrated it because he was dissatisfied with his salary. Mm. Now, in addition to staging the attack, a feature said, Smullett also sent himself a hate-filled letter to the Fox studio where the hit show is filmed. Mm. Now, Smullett turned himself in at 5.15 a.m. this morning and made a statement to police before being taken into custody. Now, his lawyers, Todd Pugh and Victor Henderson, were not present at the time, but they released a statement the night before. Now, the statement said, like any other citizen, Mr. Smullett enjoys the presumption of innocence particularly when there has been an investigation like this one, where information, both true and false, has been repeatedly leaked. Given these circumstances, we intend to conduct a thorough investigation and to mount an aggressive defense. Now, 
backlash. Police add that Smullett gave no statement to the police after turning himself in and that his lawyers had reached out to them Wednesday night to discuss his surrender. Now, Smullett wanted to turn himself in near midnight, but authorities suggested he come in at 5 a.m. instead to avoid spending the night in jail. Now, Smullett arrived early this morning accompanied by a female lawyer and an entourage of five or six people. Now, Smullett was silent as he went through the motions of being booked and processed. Well, guys, hmm, this is ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. I mean, I, oh, that really, that has put us back. Now, if Jesse, which it looks like he is lying, maybe he has some uh, insanity claims that he's going to try to, uh, <laughs> for his defense. I mean, that's the only thing that can save this boy, because I want to whoop it myself, you know. Mm, mm, mm. Guys, what do y'all think about this? Press that comment button and we shall talk. Thank you so much for watching my video. Hope you will like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as always in parting, y'all, be blessed. Bye.